Uh, it's, re it's recording. Welcome back, you to YouTube viewers. Woo! Got a good show for you today, folks. Yeah. I'm using uh, Scott's the Backwoods Paranormal Investigation Team's camera again. Yeah, still having trouble with my, uh, you know, the volume on my camcorder, which I will show you. It's a good camcorder, but I'm having trouble with that part right there. I got to get me a new one. It don't work, folks. I got to get me another one so I can do more shows. Thanks to Scott. He's let me use his. And, uh, well, let's get this show on the road, folks. Yeah. Hang on. We got to do our little intro. Woo. Didn't drop that knife, that's for sure. That wouldn't be too good on my, on my toes. Let's cook. Baby girls and dads cooking show. All right. And don't forget to subscribe, folks. Well, before we get started, I want to talk to y'all about something. I was going to do shrimp gumbo, but plans changed on me like normal. But uh, we're going to do that next week. Right now, I am going to finish a previous show I done a while back. It's called Dublin Coddle. Now, I already did the Dublin Coddle, but I did not show y'all how, how to do that. But it's good, folks. Now, this meal you could do. Um, now, it's going to take some time. It's going to about be a 10-hour thing. So, before you go to bed, you might want to get it started, folks. Because in the morning, it should be ready, ready to go for you. Now, what you need, you're going to need a slow cooker. We already got preheated on high. Yeah. We're going to need some ham. Make sure there's a bone in it. You got to have that bone. That's the uh, that's the secret ingredient, the bone. Okay. You're going to need the onion. You're going to need sliced up carrots, which we found a bag that's already sliced up. I think that would be better. And you're going to need celery, folks. Yummy. Now, there's a bunch of controversy about this um, celery. Some people want a lot of it, and some people don't want little of it. And some of them won't be between. It's more of a goalie locks ordeal here. But pre prefer I prefer only one celery. That's all you need because this stuff is strong, folks. And you don't want your whole stew to s taste and smell nothing but celery. It will overpower it. And you don't want that, folks. You don't want to be chewing nothing but celery. Especially a ham-flavored celery. It's not good, folks. Yeah. All right. Well, now, we're about to get started. Like I said, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a 10 hours to let it slow cook overnight. So, we're starting it at, mm, we're going to say 6 o'clock. So, 6, about 4 in the morning, it will be done. Yeah. So, let's get started. All right. First off, 
Uh, well, you know what? Give me just a minute. Um, I gotta set this camera up real quick. All right, folks, we're back. Sorry, I had to we readjust the camcorder. Yeah. All right, folks. We get started right now. All right, we got our ham. Oh, thank you. Let me wash my hands, folks. Yeah. Alright, we got one celery. Alright now. We gonna fight here in a minute. There you go. Alright. Now before we get started, we need some water up in this thing here. So Jug of water. Let's see if that might be enough. Okay, now we're going to get our celery washed off. Alright, oops, there we go. that goes in the garbage. You don't want that out there, folks. That's not good. You know what, I wonder if I could zoom. Can I zoom on this thing? Uh, yep, yeah. uh, top. Top? Oh yeah, look at that crap. Folks, I learned on Zoom on this thing here. Our celery. I'm gonna get our ham. Cut it in chunks. You don't need two small pieces. You just get a little chunk here and there. Make them in squares. As my wife is laughing at me. It's alright, folks. We're going to get through this. I'm thinking about putting two, uh, maybe I could put the whole thing. You think I could put the whole thing in there? Oh, um, she's... I would take some of that water out. Ah, we got this, folks. No, we're going to use every bit here. Right. Now, as you see, I'm cutting up all these ham here. We're going, we're going to do this. I heard that from here. <laughs> I think that's too much. That's, that's enough ham, I guess. Now we're going to do one thing, one stick stalk of celery. Now, as I say, celery is very strong. Some people like more, some people like less, but I'm just one for us to do. Yummy! You're gonna have to take some of that water out. Think so? Yeah. Well, I messed up, folks. 
See, this is what happens when my wife leaves me by myself. I mess up. So, we're going to take some water out of this thing. But, you know what? I mess up all the time, so I know how to fix my mess ups. So, we're going to just take one of these measuring cups. That looks like a hearse. Yes. I'm going to take some water out. That's cool. All right, folks, we're going to get an onion, pull the outer layer, layer off. You want to chop that up. You don't have to wash an onion. Really? Yes. Yeah. I mess up again, folks. It's all right. Go away. Move. What? Go away. <laughs> the onion. <laughs> She took over, folks. It's burning my eyes. Ugh. I think there's a movie, folks, about an onion. Everybody has layers. I don't quite know what it means, but I know one thing about onions. It's like flipping mace. It burns. Now we use one onion. I got sliced carrots. Okay. Yeah. Now we take the bag of sliced carrots, put it on in there. Stop, dog. You scared the crap out of me. Baby. What? I don't know about this, but we got it. Check this out, folks. Yeah. Hang on. Crap it. Let's get that all nice in there. I think I used too much carrot spray. No, it's fine. It's fine. All right, folks, there it is. Well, crap. Hang on, folks. There you go. All right, we got one bag of carrots, one onion, half of a ham cut up in chunks, and one celery. So what we do, Let's get this thing, and this is called ham stock. Now, you could use this as a stew as well. So when it starts boiling down and getting in, into it here, but let me tell you, folks, that'd be the best ham stock you ever made right there. It's good, folks. We're just gonna set this lid like that, and we're going. We're going to set it up now. Sure. Hang on, folks. All right. And, yep. Oh, the other way. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, we got our, this is called ham stock. Ham stock is the best seasoning you can put on anything. And it lasts forever. You put it in totes, little bowls, and you put it in the freezer, and you put it back log for a couple days. Uh, it's good seasoning. You just, sometimes, you can actually take ice trays. We don't have any ice trays. We ain't got no ice trays. But you can get some ice trays and dip it in there, make little cubes out of it, and put them in. And um, you'll have just so many times you want to season some stew or something, you just drop a block in there, and it's just as good, folks. Mm, it's good. And that's how you make hams, that Dublin coddle. 
Got that. You got the Dublin call. We all good. And one more thing, folks. Hang on. See y'all later. <laughs> morning, YouTube, YouTube viewers. Uh, whoo, I overslept this morning, folks. Yeah. Well, anyways, before we let, before I went to bed last night, I put it down to a low, low cook. So we're done with a ham stock. All right. And this is what it looks like, folks. We didn't overcook it. We just made it simmer a little bit more. So, we. Huh? I'll get one of these right here. Oh, wow. Oh, crap. I just want to spoon. Hang on, folks. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Put too much carrots in it, but that's okay, folks. Uh, like that big bag I showed you, just do about half of carrots. But carrots good for you. Good for your eyes. Look at that ham. Broke all to pieces. Don't that look good, folks? All right. Now. What you do is this. Get you a bowl or strainer. Oh. Hang on. So whatever it was you're gonna do, you can lay the spoon down. Oh, okay. Uh, let me find a bowl real quick. They're in the pantry. Pantry, okay. All right, you take this strainer, pop it on in there. Now I need oven mitts. We're gonna need two of them, folks, because that's gonna be a little bit on the warm side. Take it like this. And just pour it on in there. Yeah. All right, folks. Oh crap! I messed up. No, you didn't. Uh, Just pull that up. Put it right there. Shake it. There you go you got your ham stock right there folks and that right there will be good on your Dublin coddle we're gonna try some of this stew here let me get me a fork uh, for that you would need a spoon no for the, that and we'll do a spoon that all right watch this y'all Oh, that's perfect. That is. Mm. Mm. All right. Let's, let's try this. I started onion tasting. Yeah. All right. Mm. Mm. Needs a little salt, but that's pretty good. The celery hit right on the spot. 
little yeah. oniony. Too much onion. I don't taste too much onion. I do. Ooh. But we're used to using big pot, so we needed to dilute it down some. So a half a bag of carrots uh, would have been fine. Uh, yeah. Um, the onion was all right. It's just we had to use this little quartz right here jars, so that's the reason why we uh, overdid it. All right, folks. Well, that's how you make the ham stock. Pretty good. That might, no, that one there might need a little salt though. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Mm. All right. My wife says, wrap it up now. Come on. All right, folks. Well, that's how you make ham stock. I'll see y'all next time around. See ya!